Hey everyone, someone watching my videos commented on one of them. And the point of this comment is, what do we do when you have a large number of tests and they kind of become slow on site because they all run one after another? How do you execute so that you run the tests in less time? It's a great question. I already have Cypress dashboard recording for this project set up. And if I look at the execution, I see that I have 12 tests and they all run on a single machine one after another. If you look at machines view, you have all the tests, including a couple that are pretty long, one minute each. And they all execute and finish in five minutes. And to me personally, anything that runs longer than two, three minutes is actually too long of a wait for end test results to come up. So let's fix this. What do we have to do? So I'll go to my CI file and I already have everything set up and I'm using one of my reusable Cypress workflows. And in this repo, in addition to the standard single machine workflow, I have parallel reusable workflow that just creates a number of containers and splits the load by telling Cypress to run in parallel mode. And in this case, we don't need to record because it will require record. Cypress parallelization requires you to record the results. But what we can pass is the number of machines. Now, if you look at the dashboard, it tells me, hey, you know, if you use 11 machines, then each spec will run its own and so on, blah, blah, blah. Well, GitHub Actions actually gives you 20 machines in parallel on the free plan. But I think, you know, let's try with five machines. And we have two long specs, they will use two machines, and the rest of the specs will just run on other three machines. So I think this will be enough to run much, much faster. So we'll say split across the machines, push it, and let's see when you test run. I'm going to go to the actions, we'll go to CI, the new job is already running. Notice it prepares to run and then it has the matrix of containers that actually runs individual CI jobs. Okay, notice we set N5 and it created five jobs. So they all will run at the same time. Let's show them. Let me go to the first test job. It's already running the tests. Let's go to the dashboard. Okay, this is our test run. If we go to the specs and notice we have five machines, one, two, three, four, five, each executing its own spec file. So we are paralyzing the test run. Okay, we have first machines that already finished because these specs are shorter. Let's look at the timeline. This colors. Oh, it shows the solution. Email hint it shows one letter hint. You can notice like a machine number three, right? After it executed its spec, picked up the next spec. So we can see how while the longer specs are running on one machine, the rest pick up the shorter specs. And right now 10 out of 11 specs completed. I think play every day is one of those longer specs that just finished. So we went from five minutes to a minute and six seconds. And, you know, adding one more machine doesn't really buy me much, so I think I'll stay with five machines for now. But this is how you run your Cypress tests much, much faster. You split them so you can run them across multiple machines.